Stealing from Gunil on performatives. This is a lecture by me, Andrew Thomas, for the Staging Citizenship module at Estfold University College, which I would like my wonderful international students to watch by the 19th of February 2022, which is tomorrow. So I'm going to try and explain performatives, the theory of performatives, with one particular example, as we so often do as teachers, I'm talking about my own life. And this example is a situation where, uh, as you will soon find out, Gunil is far more organized in her everyday life than I am. Um, so I needed money and she had money. So I, um, I said to um, Gunil, can't you lend me um, some of your money? I need 1,000 kroner in order to buy a Mars bar. Um, and as by way of persuading her to lend me this money, um, I said, I promise to pay you back. Um, and um, let's see now. So that meant I did promise to pay her back, um, doesn't it? Um, what is the meaning of this sentence? I promise to pay you back. So let's use this as our example. Um, and a lot of philosophical um, meditations on language, a lot of the philosophers of language, um, especially in the in most recent 100, 150 years, have discussed the philosophy of language by asking, what does this sentence mean? And, and how do we know that that's what it means? Um, how is it that we understand each other? And, um, and the standard bit is, um, the standard uh, answer is, um, I promise to pay you back means what it means if I indeed do promise to pay you back. Just as um, snow is white, if and only if snow is indeed white. Um, so our language refers to something similar in the world. So, um, so if it is indeed the case that snow is white, then the statement snow is white is true. Now that tell, tells us almost nothing about either meaning or truth. So, um, but the question is, how do we know whether it's true um, that I promise to pay you back? And it's not obvious that I have made the promise. As you know, I was being a little bit dishonest in trying to persuade Gunil to, um, to give me some money. Um, certainly we wouldn't say Andrew is honest is true, um, but it's difficult to say whether I have promised to pay her back. Um, by saying these words. And this is a problem because we use promises. It's not just a problem because philosophers are worried about it or philosophers ask this question in, in some rather theoretical um, articles. It's a problem because our promises are a part of everyday life. Indeed, I've had the, uh, the beautiful queen there in the background of this video, specifically because, um, because on English money, um, we um, uh, we have this promise um, as part of our notes. This is not true of Norwegian money, but certainly English money um, includes this promise in order to be valid. Uh, this promise, I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of £20. And it strikes me that we need to therefore know whether promises have taken place. We need to know the truth of the description, I promise to pay you back. Because if somebody is not promising, then well, uh, the promise is invalid, and worst case scenario, um, all of our economy is, uh, is breaking down. Now, that's one question we can ask. The other question we can ask about this statement, I promise to pay you um, back, is what was I trying to do? And here we're on, um, we're on much firmer ground because I've already given you the scenario, I've given you the explanation. Um, I was trying to persuade her to give me money. And that can be, um, just as the, the question of meaning can be true or false, whether I have promised or not, um, that can be successful or not. For example, um, if she forgets um, that I have made this promise, then, then I'm extremely successful with my attempt on stealing money from Gunil. Um, and that's what I'm really hoping for. But if she doesn't, um, and, and if she doesn't believe me in the first place, that I promised to, uh, to pay her back, um, then she's not going to give me the money in the first place. So that, that would make it unsuccessful. But I think we all know whether um, it's been successful or not. And of course, I can um, try to persuade her by saying, look, we're friends. Um, you know me, I'm an honest bloke. I'm a teacher, for God's sake. Um, 
I'm definitely going to pay you back. But we all know that when you start yelling, as Taylor Swift says, you're the one who's lost control of the conversation. So ideally, in an ideal situation, I would just say I promise, and then she will um, take my promise, give me the money, and then forget that um, she's given me the money. And that's um, that's how the strategy, uh, that's how my strategy is going to work out. So we can ask two different questions about this. Is it true that I've made this promise? And is it successful um, that I've um, that I've stolen from um, Gimli? But it strikes me that both of these things are kind of they're avoiding the real issue here. On the one hand, the grammar is it really the case that I've described a situation? I promise to pay you back. Um, but is it really true that I'm describing something that's going on elsewhere? And similarly, strategy, which I've chosen to um, spell with an I, I see here. Um, the strategy is very much something that's happening around. It's not the truth of the, it's not what's actually going on in this statement, I promise to pay you back. Because the fact is, I am making a promise with that statement. And that making the promise um, is not to be, um, is not the description as we talked about with the grammar. But it's not also it's not the same as stealing. I haven't stolen from Gunil just by promising to pay her back. I'm, I've made the promise. And who knows what happens after that? Maybe I have a change of heart. Maybe I suddenly see the error of my ways afterwards and decide to actually pay her back. It seems unlikely, but maybe, you know, in a in a in a crazy, crazy parallel universe, I might actually change my mind and become an honest human being. So the promise is something that happens between these two. Now, the theory of performatives is saying that when we do things with words, we're not just describing what we do by grammar, by these descriptions, I promise, or I don't promise, is it true or not, or strategy, I am stealing, I am trying to steal, I am successful or not. But the promise happens, or it doesn't happen, um, by this, by whether I've taken these uh, the correct form of words for a promise. So obviously I haven't promised if I say I dwerble flub to pay you back because dwerble flub is not a word. But similarly, I haven't promised to pay pay her back if I say, oh, I promise to pay you a thousand pesetas. Um, and that for various reasons. Firstly, I'm definitely not going to pay her back with pesetas. And secondly, um, pesetas don't exist. Um, so um, then, then the promise probably hasn't um, taken place. So there are things that can happen, but they're not the same thing as true or false, which is a matter of grammar, and they're not the same thing as successful or unsuccessful, which is the matter of strategy. And for John Austin's theory of um, performatives, um, he says that these performatives, they happen between grammar and strategy, and they can be um, felicitous or infelicitous, because he needs to use a word which is not just successful or unsuccessful, which we use for strategy. So he's distinguishing between the felicitous or the infelicitous performance, performance um, and the successful or the unsuccessful strategy. Now, in the classroom, we will be talking more about how um, we analyze performatives in terms of felicitous or infelicitous. Um, because performatives are doing things with words. And, and that's the whole point of what we're getting at here. Um, we have talked about performatives. Austin talks about performatives. There is also this theory of speech acts, um, which is roughly the same thing in John Searle's version. Um, and the point of, um, point of all this is to know when we are teaching and when we are engaging in drama or art or democracy, we are doing things with words. And at the level of um, strategy, we can be successful or not. But at the level of um, meaning or performatives, um, whether we are successful in stealing or not, when we say the words, the correct words for promising or swearing or anything else, then um, whether we like it or not, we have to mean what we say.